Um, well, because I was married at the time, my vision was completely different. So, you know, just showing newlyweds and you know, the journey of me moving to a new city and, or, you know, back to Huntsville, I should say, and just developing my business and, you know, family life and trying to find that balance. That was my initial thought process and just having a good time, really. Did you, um, hold on, sorry, the questions are coming in. Hello, hello, hey guys. Okay, managing the questions and interviewing is like a new skill set that I don't have just yet. So be it's hard. patient with me. Look, it, grace. It moves and then you got to try to find. I know, I know exactly. It does. Mean. So um, if that. I don't catch your questions, I do have a lot of questions with Destiny. So if I didn't ask it, just if you could write it back again. So before I start getting into last season, um, I really want to talk about you and then your business because you're doing some major things in Huntsville. And but before we get started, what are some of the things that the fans don't know about you that we didn't get the chance to learn about you through the show? Like um, talent, skills that or fun facts? OK, fun facts. Um, I was on X Factor in 2000 and I want to say seven, eight. Um, I've been singing since I was six. Singing. I was in my first talent show at 11. And I won first place. Um, I moved to LA to continue to pursue my dream of acting and, and singing. I went to performing arts college, uh -huh. the American Musical Dramatic Academy. I lived in LA for almost five years. I was in Spider Man. I was in um, Two Broke Girls, Apartment 23, oh um, Batman Returns with Bane. Um, I did a lot. I did a lot of work out there. I was I was on set a lot. And wow. I was in a band as well. Um, I was in a band and we performed at the Mai Tai Bar. We performed at the Key Club. We performed at uh, Hard Rock Cafe. My allergies are acting crazy, so my eyes are watering like crazy. Thank you but me. I have been singing since I was a little girl. It's always been my dream to get into singing and performing arts acting. A lot of people are saying, wow, I'm wild as well. I never would have guessed that, but that's pretty cool. I did watch Two Pro Girls, so I have to go back and rewatch it again to see. I, it on, like, I think it was the first episode, like their first ever episode. I was in the thrift store and I was the girl that was kind of fighting over the purse with um, the girl that used to be rich. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that was oh, my first yeah. job. That was actually my first ever job. And then I, when I moved back to Atlanta, I was in. Single Ladies and uh, 42, the Jackie, Jackie Robinson story. I was in Hunger wow. Games. Um, and when I moved to Nashville, I was in Nashville and the TV show. And then I had a commercial with Captain D's. Oh, my goodness. So just curious, what made you kind of go in a different route and stop pursuing that dream? I didn't stop. I was still working and auditioning while I was still living in Nashville. I just, um, I was so engulfed in my career as a real estate agent in sales. It kind of took over. Um, but I was still auditioning. I auditioned for, um, uh, what's the one with the chairs? Lord have mercy. Uh, why am I going blank? What chair? The turnaround? What, what is it called? The chair? Oh, the, uh, not, not fair. Red, I, I see the name, but I can't. Rem I can't. It's not coming to my brain. What is it called? Uh, well, do you guys remember that show? I know exactly what show you're talking about, but I can't think of it. My eyes watering like crazy. Um, the Voice. Yes, The Voice. I auditioned for The Voice twice, and I made it to the last round. There's one one show that I was actually in the lobby, and they did talk to me because um, I made it right before the chairs, like twice. Um, two things happened. One is that I I needed to sing a song that was more current. So that was my first audition. My mm -hmm. second audition was um, an up tempo. So I had more current, but everything was uh, balanced. So yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm I'm taken aback by that. I never Poo knew. Spicy that. said I'm boring. Hey, Pooh Spicy. Well, why you watching? Hi, Angie. <laughs> Hi. Yes, it's well, a boy. Are, Thank y'all so much. I completely forgot. No, we're just we're there's so many great positive comments that are coming your way. Um people are saying, could we hear you sing? There's um sure. Oh, okay. Lord have mercy. I wasn't prepared for this. I'm drinking coffee, by the way, which is the worst <laughs> thing for your voice. Um, let's see, what would I sing for y'all? Um I have a single coming out, so I'll sing a little snippet of that. Okay. 
What is it called? It's called On 10, and okay. it'll be out next month. Um, so, see how it goes. Almost costing me my life. Said you was gonna love me unconditionally. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the that you did to me on 10, on 10. That's all I'm gonna give y'all. <laughs> Girl, stick to weave because singing is not your ministry. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, ma'am, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot of things about you. Thank you so much for giving us that exclusive. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Let me just make sure before I move on to the next question. When when are we when can we expect this new single to come out? Next month. Next month? Okay. Yes. All right. So um let me make sure you guys don't have any more questions. Well, she did sing for you guys. You did ask. Um, so congratulations on Mad- Madani Beauty. Recently, you were honored by Ways t- Way 21. I think that's a new station uh, for Black History Month. And we yes. got to learn. Um, when you first came on the show, we saw you uh, with the grand opening, right? Not the launch, but the grand opening of your store. It was a soft launch. The grand opening so- doesn't happen until the, the, the sweets are... <laughs> Marcel said, copycat. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate him. Anyway, the, uh, the the grand opening will be when the suites are finished. Okay, so the soft opening. And we saw you being honored uh, recently for Black History Month. And you shared the story behind why you decided to open your store because of a personal experience that you had when you went to a, a different store. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um. So... I actually, right before that, I was in the in the beauty business vicariously. I, a partner and I had a provisional patent on a hair care product. And so we were shopping it around. And my experience that made me really want to just go full force into having my own store was I ended up get at, uh, getting asked to be searched at a local store here. And it was by a police officer because I guess they had him on payroll and he was outside. And so I got a tap on my shoulder. I was running my mouth on the phone and it was, they asked me, could they search my bag? And I was standing at the counter because my god sister was buying something. And I was standing at the counter looking at some makeup brushes. And he said, yeah, they, they think you put one of those brushes in your purse. So I took it and dumped it on the counter and said, look for whatever you need to look for. Wow. And he was like, I'm just doing my job. You know, I'm sorry, whatever, whatever. And I was like, I'll never shop here again. Like, I'll never, I'll never come back to this store. And it's one of the the popular ones. They have multiple locations, so it's kind of hard to not. Um, but yeah, that was my deciding factor that put the nail in the coffin for me. Like, I have to open up my own store because one, we're as black women, we spend too much money to be treated the way that we get treated. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think there's, I saw a data about about seventy or eighty percent of the hair store owners are. Uh, a different race. No, um, it's about ninety something. Ninety. Ooh, yeah, that's we not. Are, we are we are not even in double digits of ownership. Even as the the as African Americans are opening stores, we still haven't even hit double digits yet. Wow. So, is there an opportunity for you to share this story, but also open up classes to teach other women how to open up your own stores? Or so that's why I partner with um, one of my lovely, lovely, lovely friends, Leah. Diaz, um, she is an owner of, beauty, of a beauty supply store. She's on the West Coast. She was on uh, Married to Medicine, um, LA. And her and I met and we just clicked. And she ended up buying High Care Magazine. And oh, after yeah. meeting, after she asked me to be on the cover, and we met and um, we just clicked. And I said, you know, I got inboxes and inboxes of people asking me, how can I get into the beauty industry? Can mm-hmm. you mentor me? So her and I decided to do the Beauty Boss Tour. And we partnered together <laughs> to do that. We have our first date in Los Angeles um, the first weekend in April. I think it's April 9th. And we're doing our first tour date. And uh-huh. our second tour date is in Atlanta on April 23rd. So um, if you follow the, um, the Beauty Boss Tour on IG, you can uh, see and follow the journey. And, of course, I'll be posting it, and she'll be posting yeah. it as well. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, you did recently post about it. So if you want to learn more about the Beauty Boss Tour, go to Destiny's page. Um, she has several p- 
post about that. Um, let's get into you and Liberic. Um, last season, we learned that you guys uh, divorced. And fans have questions about why did he wait three weeks after you given birth to file for divorce? Because I don't think we got really an answer during the reunion, if you're open to telling us. So I, what I will say about my divorce is that we, we reconciled and got back together after he filed and it just didn't work. So even after the three weeks and all that, we, we, we got back together and it just didn't work. Okay. Um, Let me tell you something. I'm so tired of Destiny skirting around these goddamn uh, questions when it comes to her and LaBrick. Just say what it is and keep it the fuck moving. Later on in this interview, she brings up the fact that he's no longer on the show. That's why she doesn't want to discuss him. And that's fine if he doesn't want to tell his story, but you're on the show and being married to him was a part of your story. And to come on this show, pregnant, newly married, then come back fucking newly divorced and give the viewers no context as of to what happened is robbing the viewers of the experience and you're not actually divulging your reality so if you're not going to give us your reality and your full reality then what is the point of you being on the show and how's co-parenting going co-parenting is a dream oh i won't start water um, co-parenting is a dream with all all the sarcasm. No, seriously, but um, <laughs> you know we're finding our footing because you have to re try to remove your feelings from the relationship to be just parents. Yeah. And um, you have to constantly remind yourself that it's not about you and it's not about the other person; it's about the kid. So that's what I focus on. There are questions about how did you get through your divorce? What helped you get through your divorce? Um, by the time we had got to the point where it was like time to just go ahead and sign the papers, I had been through enough. Um, and, you know, prayer, my life coach, I always say that. And um, just knowing that, it that you know, it's, it's something better on the other side. Somebody said that really asked the question. <laughs> Are we going to see more of the dynamic of your relationship in this upcoming season? Whose relationship? You and um, LeBaric's like co-parenting relationship. No, he's not on the no. show. So I wish to, let it go. We're divorced. We're divorced. That chapter's <laughs> over. You're not gonna get no more information. Leave me alone about it. He's not on the show. There's no need to talk about him. Move on. That's it. All right. Living a new life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, they do have questions about dating. Are you dating now that you are divorced? Yes. Ooh. Are you gonna see that play out this upcoming I mean, season? You no. Know. <laughs> Look, I waited there, two years. I deserve to be dated, okay? <laughs> well, they're saying, what about Jalen? <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that look? I'm, it's my eye. Do you see it? It won't stop Okay. Um, what'd you say? I'm sorry. I really can't hear. Do we want to know about Jalen? They're like, what about Jalen? What do you mean? You're doing I would say this. Kimmy did a great job raising an amazing, amazing young man. Right. Are we gonna see you guys going to date this season? Stay tuned. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness okay so i'm getting uh now i'm kind of switching to last season there are a few questions the fans had about um last season we saw you and mel's friendship kind of get rocky uh starting with the uh, you took mel to the side during the her single release what was your intention in having that conversation with her during her event So, <laughs> they're going to be mad at me for saying this. When you have issues or if you have things that you want to talk about, you have a certain time limit to get it on camera. That okay. was our last day of filming. So, I was asked multiple times to have that conversation and I said no. I mean, even though it was something that was truly on my heart, it wasn't the time that I wanted to have it. But it was the last day of filming and mm -hmm. I wasn't left alone about it. So, I had the conversation. I didn't think it was going to turn left and be nasty um so yeah that's my answer to that 
Okay, let me just see. There's some follow-up questions. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. Ah. And we also uh, learned that you and Martel have been friends for 20-something years since high school, if I'm mm -hmm. correct, right? So um, there is a question about do you think there's a conflict of interest with you being friends with Martel and Mel, and how are we going to see that play out this upcoming season? Um, I don't know. I'm not in editing, but all I know is um, I was able to be friends with the both of them while they were together, while they weren't together, and now that they're divorced. So for me, I, I'm, I'm not a messy person, contrary to whatever people may say. I feel like I held both of them accountable, and especially Martel. And at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't have known Melody if it wasn't for Martel. Mm. And on top of that, I just feel like, um, think about the position that I'm in. You know, I, I met a woman through a man that I've known pretty much most of my life and loved her. And then I be, I'm put in a position where I'm almost having to choose. Never was did that, what did that come from him? Never did I hear it from her. And it just was a disconnect. And then all of a sudden it's like, why are you still friends with him? Or why are you talking to him? And it, the insinuation of something more than a friendship is really hurtful. We saw in the trailer that came out um, that you two arguing, I think it was like when you guys met up at a restaurant. Did you guys, there's a question around, I think this applies to all the cast members. Do you guys get to hang out together after filming? Or is this, do you guys get to talk during filming? So a lot of the emotion shows. Um, For me, I'm I'm not a, a film friend. If we're cool, we're cool. Got you. But yeah. Make sure I'm catching so many questions. So, what should we expect this upcoming season? Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm coming in hot. hot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, I feel like you can expect um, <laughs> me to continue to be my authentic self. Okay. How is that going to show up? For everybody else. How is that going to show up this season? I don't know how they're going to edit it, but I feel like, you know, it's going to be a good season. Um, it's going to be interesting, the dynamics of how everything plays yeah. out. Yeah. Well, after the reunion, it was um, a lot of things uh, uh, left, I think, for us to figure out. Like, what is your relationship going to be like with Tiffany? Because we saw, especially with the episode that aired last week, um, you weren't really open to the friendship. <laughs> According to the text message. <laughs> According so, to the text message. It's funny because um, if you if you get me, I have really dry sarcasm sometimes. And that was one of those moments. Um, I've realized that Tiffany is who Tiffany is. And you can expect her to be herself. Whether it's her being oblivious to things or her really just not caring what comes out of her mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and that's just who she is And for me, I can respect Somebody that is consistently Who they are Okay, and what What can we expect there if, uh, To see this season, this upcoming my season My eye watering, is that my nerves? Is that what that girl said? No, oh, I, I believe know. it's my allergies This weather is changing, it, it's so temperamental It was 40 degrees and then it's 72 I'm sick of it, sorry Bye, bye. What, what about you saying? and Kimmy? What about you and Kimmy? What should we expect? I love Kimmy. Um, you can expect Kimmy to give me good advice like she always does. Um, sorry. What Kimmy does is, is uh, you know, hold people accountable. And she doesn't err on the side of wrong. She's on the side of right no matter who it is. And then we also saw in the trailer that came out um, a blossoming friendship between you and Tisha. Um, I spoke with Tisha yesterday. She said it was something organically that happened. Um, mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that? I just wish that people, because because it seems as if the, it shifted to Tisha, but her and I had already already been forging this relationship 
seasons ago. Like, if you pay attention, it didn't just happen because me and Melody have opposition. It, it it's been forging. So, yeah, that's that's what's been so crazy to me is that I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I in, enjoy Tisha. Um, she's a really really sweet, genuine person, and it hasn't been for the cameras. It's just been real true, genuine. What should we uh, expect to see in um your you with you and Melody this upcoming season? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Where do you guys stand right now? Um, on opposite islands. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. It is what it is. How are you handling the social media like comments? Because they've been a bit brutal um, recently. It's interesting because you know, you know, when you get love, that that this part is coming soon. So I was kind of prepared for it mentally. Um, they get on my nerves. Don't get it twisted. And sometimes I have time to clap back, and sometimes I'm just like, whatever. If you, if you guys have any questions that I'm not asking, please put it in the comment section. But I'm kind of going through it. Some of the questions that you're typing, I already had it. That's so I'm not. Um, you told me not to ask me about LeBaric, so I did get a lot of questions about him, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I didn't say that. I just said, I mean, he's not going to be on the show. He's not on the show, so why are we talking about if he's going to be in the story? I mean, he's not a part of the... He, he left the show, so... Okay. Oh, there were several questions about just if he's going to show up on the show, if not. What well, is his relationship is, like with Martel? Uh, hello. Here we are. There was a question about, do you think your friendship with Melody will be repaired? For me, I don't have anything to repair. So that would be on Melody at this point. I mean, but sometimes, as I told her, friendships have lifetime more season, and maybe the season is up. And where, uh, what can you tell us about your friendship with Martel this upcoming season? What are we going to see? I mean, still Martel. <laughs> I mean, nothing's changed about that relationship. We're still cool. Um, like for the both of them, as I told both of them, I still wish them the best whether they're together or not. And in my mind, I always say it's always Mel and Tail. Melody hated that. But for me, it's always Mel and Tail. Um, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just reading through the comments before I move on to the next thing. Oh, do you want to get married again? Um, I didn't for oh, after my marriage, but I, I, I'm thinking about it now. You say you are open? I am open, yes. What are some of the characteristics that you're looking for in the next future husband or man you're dating? Tall, dark, and handsome, protective <laughs> provider, God-fearing, great sex. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> um, you know, just somebody that I can be true friends with, you know, and truly build with. Do you want to have another child? Oh, Lord Jesus. Another question. Um, ask me another year. <laughs> another year. Okay. Um, and then we're I'm starting to wrap up, you guys. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, do you do uh meet and greets with fans? If so, where can people go to meet you? I meet and greet fans all the time at Madani Beauty at 1010 Jordan Lane in Huntsville, Alabama. So if you want to come shop with me, I'm there most of the time. <laughs> but I'm not opposed to doing meet and greets, yeah. Or you're also going on a tour soon, so that'll be an opportunity for people to meet you, right? Absolutely. Um, someone say your healing process is moving forward. Absolutely. Um, I agree with that 100%. But your healing process starts with you. So moving forward means moving forward with yourself first. Because if you get other people in there, and then you you get you get jaded and confused, and you just add and pile a whole bunch of other mess on top of the mess you haven't healed from. So yeah. Someone wants to know what do you do for fun? Oh Lord Jesus, um, I'm always working. If I'm not working, I'm still working because I'm a full time mom. What do I do for fun? I like to travel. And since the world's opening back up, I'm going to get back into that. I, I was a flight attendant. That's another fun fact. 
I used oh, to be a flight okay. attendant, so um, you know, hopping on a plane and, and, and jetting out is nothing to me. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think we answered the question with her relationship with Tiffany, so I'm going to save this live so you can go back and rewatch it again if you're just coming in. Um, if you could just oh, uh, myself already know, but I am an Eastern star. What happened? Somebody said, was I in a sorority? I said no, oh. um, I, but I am an Eastern star. Um, we have some of our love and marriage uh, DC folks in here. What advice would you give them as they're love starting? Love DC? DC, yep. Um, I actually have a guy brother who's an attorney in DC. He just got engaged. I love DC. Um, no matter what, stay real. No matter what, stay real. Don't let cameras jade you or you start throwing the people that you care about under the bus for a storyline and all that stuff. Stay real. There you go. Um, they're asking about if we're going to see your dating ventures on the show. I believe you answered that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. I so did. Stay tuned. Any future business plans in expanding your business? Absolutely. So um, with the Beauty Boss Tour, it is a start for me to uh, start to help and move Madani into franchising and into more, more lo locations. Um, that's my focus. And, you know, I'm, I'm back into music. I just actually signed with um, a talent manager out in Los Angeles to get back into acting nice. um, consistently and auditioning. And also I've been in the studio because I have always used music as my outlet for just life so those things and i have a, um, a provision i have started a provisional patent on an app so intellectual property is, is something that i'm really a big proponent for um because it, it leaves real legacies and mm -hmm. so yeah those are the, the things that i'm working on someone says since 313 day passed uh what do you love what about else, detroit though? um what I love about Detroit mostly is that my a majority of my family is there and in Atlanta, but majority of my family is in Detroit and um I just all the good memories from childhood. Like I had so many good memories. Um the crazy ones too, but how you say you, you, you grew up there, born and raised or you grew up I was born in Detroit and I um I, I said I said I'm I'm a city girl but the South raising, but back and forth from Detroit to Huntsville to Atlanta. So I've been in all three places. <laughs> <laughs> what um the during last week's trailer, it was this expl explosive moment we saw. I'm not sure if you guys were at the brunch or it was like a gathering where people got up, chairs were being picked up. What can you tell us about that? Oh no, she froze. Right? Did she freeze? I didn't freeze. Is it me? Can you see me? I'm moving. <laughs> Wait. No, you froze. We we didn't hear you. What was your answer? Oh, that guy's telling me not to say that. Okay, Lord, I'm be good. I'm be good. Um, what I can say is, who Jesus, pray for me. God's still working on me. <laughs> can you give us a little, just a little bit insight on um, what? what Y'all have to stay tuned. I just just say. Yeah, find somebody to play with. <laughs> somebody else. Okay, so I guess we have to stay tuned to see what happens. Um, let me make sure I'm getting some of your questions. Where did your son name come from? Um, it came from what his initial, what his name was initially going to be, and then we uh, ended up going with Law. His initials would have been Law. But um, when that didn't work out, he ended up just being Law, Law Ace Williams. Beautiful. Okay, so um, how would you describe in one word this upcoming season? Tumultuous. <laughs> uh, yeah, tumultuous. So uh, Marceau said truth or true yesterday. Tisha gave me um, traumatic. Ooh, Your, okay. Yours is yes. Okay. All right. So um, we just got the little blurb about this upcoming uh, first episode. It looks like, yeah, if you go on the page, you'll see it. Like uh, it has a description of, I guess, what to expect 
on the first episode. It looks like it picks up from um, conversation around the picture that Marceau posted from ATL. I'm going to answer this question. Somebody said, have you tried Mel's new skincare line? I oh. got a sample in, in her first one, so I've tried it before. And I also just placed the order last week um, for her full collection. So, there you yeah. go. Support no matter what. We're going to be, you know, business owners. Support no matter what. There's a question. What is? What do you hope to happen between you and Melody's friendship? I'm sorry? What do you hope to happen between you and Melody's friendship? I don't even know how to answer that. Like, moving forward. It looks like there's a, things are getting rocky. I guess, uh, do you want to... Let me see. Let me pull up the question. If she's open to a conversation, well, are you open to a conversation to fixing your friendship? And move We've already conversed. Y'all just stay tuned. <laughs> the first day, um, Saturday is the first episode, you guys. Stay tuned to season four. If you have any more questions in the, uh, to Destiny, because I'm about wrapping up, I asked all the questions. Yep, the Saturday. I had to have coffee to stay up with you because I work today and I'm tired. Someone said, hope y'all can fix it. Y'all were fun to watch on TV. Someone said, that's the real one. Side. West Side, Detroit, West Side, Grand River, Finkel. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, it's the same questions are popping up. So thank you so much, Destiny, for taking your time to thank have a you. conversation with me. Um, good luck on your tour that's coming up. You said, what was the date again for the first tour? April 9th coming? and April 23rd are the first two dates. The one question I was going to ask. What happened? You don't, you don't have any other questions to ask? Who, me? Yeah. I'm, I asked all the questions the fans sent me. Really? Okay. Is there the any question questions? about uh, I've been getting and my name has been slandered about okay. dating. Oh, yes. Yeah, so are Michael you and Martell, Martell dating? Are you Listen, why would I wait 20 years to date someone? Why would I be friends with someone and befriend their wife and then date their husband? Like, make it make sense. Out of all the millions of men in the world, make it make sense. Like, give, get, let, as women, as black women, let's give a little bit more credit. Like, that's, that's extremely tacky. And let's add the cherry on top of that. My ex-husband and Martel have been friends since preschool. Why would I bring that drama to my own family and my son? Like, stop playing. They have questions about, have you and Martel ever dated before? Never. I actually dated his cousin. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Hopefully that answers all your question. Um, someone said that Martel put you up to bringing up the babysitting question on camera since he was accusing Mel of having multiple people babysitting. Please watch the show. I never said anything about babysitting. I think that was the number the number one question that kept on popping up if you and Martel were dating and she just answered it. Of course it was, and it's disgusting. Oh. Has that been has that affected you? Like the way people have been commenting around. At first it did, and I was just like, you know, this is so ridiculous. And then at, at the same time I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Um but no, I that today I wanted to make sure that I cleared that up because that's okay. that's not that's not okay. It's not cool at all. There you have it. There you have it. Anything else you want to clear off before we say goodnight? We'll talk in the middle of the season, girl. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be some more stuff. <laughs> All right. So you're open to doing another live. That would make me Absolutely. happy. All I got to say after watching it is sis needs to work on her delivery and the way that she speaks to people. She needs to be more likable. She needs media training. She comes off rude and like she got an attitude. It's not cute. It's just a mess, child. I like Destiny to an extent on the show, but I just can't. Anywho, let's talk down below in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this interview. Let's talk. What do y'all, what did y'all take from this? What didn't you take from it? <laughs> what you like, what you didn't like. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.